after all, goofy looking monster meat is not all that tasty. <laughs> what happens after that, David? In the name of Gronk the Blade, <laughs> who are you? Here is my story. Okay. Good night, this is my story. If you look closely, this is the best friend I've ever had. If you look closely into the um, crystal. If you look closely into the crystal, this is the best friend I've ever had in the world. Trapped in this iniquitous bottle of a... I didn't learn this line because I thought we were gonna do it later. Gather closely. Good night, this is my story. Gather closely. No, look closely into this crystal. Good night, this is my story. Good night, this is my story. Look closely into this crystal. You will see the best friend I have ever had. Trapped, bottled up in this iniquitous jail cell of light. You want me to say that again? If you gather closely, look into this crystal, and you will see the best friend I have ever had. Bottled up in this iniquitous jail cell of light. His name is Bob. So, am I sitting down for these, Dave, or you want me up? And they've been friends for lo these many years, uh, dwelling together in peace and contentment in a land many leagues away, dissolved to flashback. Goofy monsters being rounded up by the king's men. Several years ago, when Lord Dagon chose to usurp the throne of Lindania, <laughs> he sent his errant knights into the surrounding lands to gather up as many monsters as he as they could, compelling them with flattery and gold to come to his land of evil and reap the harvest of injustice with him. This flagrant miscarriage of anything remotely civilized caused a lump in the throat of righteous indignation, and I refused to be a party to his carnage and criminal activities. You there. You, down there. That's fine. Uh, okay. Lord Dagon then imprisoned my friend in this crystal and blackmailed me into submission. If I didn't do his bidding, the crystal, including my friend, would be made into a necklace for his pet pit bull in the palace, a fate I can hardly contemplate. Flashback ends. And so, sadly, my former friends, you see before you a tired, rusty, and thoroughly dis disillusioned and disheveled monster that, that only wanted to help undo the evil that has been unleashed in this land and to smite the evil Lord Dagon for his wretched wrong that has been done to my friend Bob. Um, oh my gosh, Dave. Hold, monster. I really wanted to ascertain the truth of your tidings and to verify the relevant facts as to your past life and ascertain your current status in this wretched fiend's annals. What? He believes you. And so do we all. Come, let's have a better look at Bob. Yo, Bob, check it out. We got friends. Well then, get me out of here. Something like that. Well now, Bob, we'll do everything we can to restore you to your rightful size and stature, if you swear fealty to us. For we go to right the wrongs that have been done against this noble kingdom. What say you? Fine, fine. Let's just get out of here. One thing, though. I feel that I should warn you about a few tricks up the sleeve of this Lord Dagon. What is it? Be here. Hold on, can I just read this real quick? I shall pulverize you two! Give us one last chance. You are dead meat. We will both go ourselves this time. Prepare to meet your doom! Death Star approaching. Death Star approaching. <laughs>